Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Today we are going to talk about money pitfalls. I will cover from the dangers of day trading, the problems about luxury cars, expensive items such as luxury clothing and fashion trends, and spending money to impress others. So let's dive in. First, why do people start to invest so much in day trading? There are many people losing money in day trading and they are not even noticing. So if day trading would be so easy and anyone can do it, why don't hedge funds do this kind of investments? Because you know, hedge funds, they have billions on their portfolios or even trillions. If you're going to see someone like BlackRock, for example, they have so much money. Why don't they do day trading as well? It is because it is so hard. It is so difficult. Stock markets are so unpredictable that you cannot go so easy on that one. So what do hedge funds actually do is they buy or they short stock options to actually protect their portfolio. Imagine a scenario like you have 70% of your portfolio in stocks, then you have 20% in bonds or any other fixed income product and you have 10% in cash. You're going to use this 10% to leverage your portfolio to hedge it. Because if something happened, like for instance, the stock market is dropping 20% in a month, you're going to use this cash to buy some stock options such as put or trying to short some calls. I don't know, you can do many strategies, but the thing is, you are using it to protect your entire portfolio and then because you use it, this money, uh, actually you're not losing like 20%, you might be losing like 10%. So you're dropping less than the stock market is dropping. But this is just a scenario that I put it right here, but they are doing many things with stock options, but they are not going to trade the stock option. Another thing is luxury cars. Nowadays, luxury cars look so interesting. I mean, I saw many people buying luxury cars nowadays, trying to impress others. But the thing is, have you ever considered to do the forecast of how much you're going to spend with this luxury car? I mean, can you really afford it in the long run? Because being honest, your car would be living in the gas station. And not just that, but the insurance premium that you're going to pay it will be way higher the maintenance it will be higher so put this all three costs and then see if in the long run you can really afford it if you can congratulations but if cannot maybe you need to buy another car and put this in your mind by the way cars are important to drive you from point a to point b another thing is high-end clothing and I know that watching these brands that are selling a lot of good stuff, you're going to look at it and you're going to wish you can buy some clothing like that. But let me share you something. Most of them come from China. If one Chinese manufacturer can do it, many other manufacturers can do it as well. You just need to copy the same materials. And that's what they are doing because let me share you what I was doing before I went back to Brazil in 2020 because of all that happens, right? Before that, I was living in China and I was a business consultant from some Brazilians that was trying to buy some products in China and they are doing a sort of a trade as well, right? Because they were going to buy a cheap product in China because it was manufactured over there to sell here in Brazil with a premium because they want to make profit as well right because you have the branding name the logistics and all this cost even with all this cost by the way you will make better because brazil has many taxes that don't don't even i don't know i don't want to talk about it but it doesn't even make sense but brazil has many taxes over here but the thing is even buying a product from the other side of the planet buying paying all the logistics and everything it would be cheaper than producing the same products over here because 
you know, there's so many taxes over here. When I was a consultant in China, what I saw is, I would not say the name of the brand, but there was a brand doing glasses. They were buying glasses for 80 cents of dollar and they would charge you $200 to the final customer. So consumers, they are paying the premium because they don't even understand the materials actually. It is a piece of plastic and they are selling for $200, but they bought this glass for 80 cents of dollars. And you can say it, oh, they will have the cost of the, you know, the place that they are going to sell it. I don't know, the logistics, the taxes and everything. Yes, it might be cost like $2 or $3. It will not cost even close to $10. I can guarantee you. Another thing is people that is spending money to impress others. So there are many people that is spending a lot of money to impress others and they are not even noticing because they are spending more than 90% of their income and in things that it is only to impress others. And that's all. Try to live by your means. Don't care about what other people think. What you want to really do is to impress the others by your mind, by how smart you are by some skill that you have and they don't have it. So for instance, what I like to talk about it is investments. And wherever I go, I like to talk about investments. And because I learned it so much about investing in stock markets, I learned it about debt. I learned it about if a company is having a lot of debt, do they have the money to not to pay the debt? So for instance, Apple, they have the cash to pay all the debt that they have but why do they use that to make more money actually it is because debt is free of taxes so because I learned so much about stock markets I learned it about debt and I learned how good that is actually but for us the ordinary people we cannot use debt in the same way that big companies use debt because I will tell you something, that is free of taxes. So that's why a lot of big companies do make a lot of debt because they can spend less money in taxes. Because I learned so much about this kind of companies, nowadays I'm a consultant to, to some companies and what I like to talk about is, is alternative investments. So that's it for today guys hope you guys enjoyed this video hope to see you on the next video but don't forget to subscribe and to like to this video if you really enjoy it and if you have some suggestions put in the comments and i will see you on the next video